how to set up your Google Analytics account. Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can set up your Google Analytics account. So let's get started. So before I begin, I just want to say that if you want to set up your account, then just simply click on the link down in the description below to set up your Google Analytics account. It's very easy. So let's get started. Now, first, if you just simply search for Google Analytics, it'll pop up right here. Simply click on sign in Google Analytics. It'll ask you to sign in with your Google account. So that's what I'm just simply going to go ahead and do. Now, the sign up process is very simple and very easy. All you got to do is sign in with your Google account, as I said before, since this is a Google product. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sign in and I'll catch you guys in a second. All right, there you go. So I have now I have now signed in. Now, as you can see, I've already created an account. Uh, this is just an older account. Let me just show you how you can actually create your account. So let me just sign out of here, go into the admin and click on create new account. Now this is how it's basically going to look like for you. For you, this, your account setup is going to look like this. You just enter in the name of your account, check all of the boxes that you want and you are good to go. So I'll just quickly say this is a demo. This is a demo. And then we'll just simply scroll down, check all of the boxes that we need, and then just simply click on next. Then we just enter in the property name. So what is the name of our property? Let's call it a website. It's going to be a website, but we can choose whatever it is later. It can either be an application, website, or a mobile app, or something else altogether. This is a demo. We can choose the currency. Uh, time zone, whatever, and then just simply click on next. Again, choose all of the options that best fit your need or that, you know, portrays your business, whatever it is, and choose an industry as well. So we'll just choose health, say small, and we can choose all of these options as well, depending upon which ones fit your need. And then just simply click on create. And over here, you have to accept the terms and services. Of course, it is required. You can read it if you want to, and then just simply click on accept. Then you are good to go. Now you basically choose and start collecting your data, whether it's a, you know, website or an Android app or an iOS, right? It depends on you. We're going to be choosing a website. And over here, you just enter in the URL of your website and your website's name, right? Let me just see what it is. Now I'll just simply type in the name of my website. This is not a real website. And then we are good to go. Okay, let me just actually backspace. Here we go. And remove this. There we go. So this is my website. And this is my stream name as well. Now over here, we can see what it will be measuring, right? So if you click on here, we can see page views, scrolls, outbound clicks, site searches, video engagements, file downloads, form interactions, everything. And we can choose which ones we want if we want to have all of this, right? We want page views. That's, of course, no brainer. We want that. And then we can choose whatever we want. So we don't want this. We don't want it to track files downloads because we don't have that. We can choose video engagement or form interactions or site searches. It all works. Then we just simply click on create a stream. Now the data stream has now been created. Now we can go ahead and move on to the next step where we just have to go ahead and add in our tag that the analytics provides us. So over here, it also says that data collection is not active for your website. If you've installed tags more than 80, 48 hours ago, make sure that they are set up correctly. Now, I just simply created this website pretty early, like maybe an hour ago. So that's why maybe this is showing. But if your website has been created for more than 48 hours, this won't show. This warning message won't appear. But if it still doesn't work, give it at least 48 hours and it'll work perfectly. Now, let me just show you how you can add a M tag or measurement ID or stream ID, right? It's very simple. I will be showing different ways for different websites. For first one, we're going to be using the WordPress website. Then I'll show you how you can add it to Zinho. Then I will show you how you can add it to a Wix website and the rest of the websites as well. It's very simple. So let's go 
so first we need to get ourselves a code now normally they would have provided you a code right here but if you don't see it like i don't right now what you can do is just simply uh click on the view tag instructions over here at the top or at the bottom right here so we're going to click on the bottom for now and over here you can select your website builder it can be uh, drupal uh, duba monster insight or whatever or you can go with the manually option right here then all you got to do is just simply copy this script right here this code and then you have to copy and paste it this code into every single page of your website i know it's a headache but i'll show you an easier way that can that can help and ease the process so let's go over to our wordpress website right here and now what we'll do is we'll go into the plugin sections and add a new plugin so first click on add new plugins and over here what you want to do is search for header we just simply search for header footer code manager and we can find this plugin right here header footer code manager what we'll do is we'll click on install this plugin wait for a couple of seconds for it to be installed and once it's installed we just simply click on activate and once it's act now once this is activated we are good to go then what we can do is as you can see right here header footer code manager this option will pop right up we click over here and over here as you can see we have no snippets available what we can do is we can click on add new snippet right here and we just simply paste the name of the snippet we'll just call it uh, the g tag and snippet type is going to be a javascript right if you don't know how you can figure it out you just simply view it right here as you can see it starts with the dot js which is javascript so javascript then you want this code to be displayed where we want to display it site-wide you know or specific posts specific pages or whatever but if you choose site-wide it's going to choose every single page and every single uh, header footer then you want the location where do you want it header or footer we'll just choose the header for now and then what we can do is down below we just simply paste the code this is right here and then we just simply click on the save button and we are good to go now this script is printed on every single piece of our website so we don't have to worry about it then we just simply go back to our google tag and we reload the page then we are good to go so now that i've pasted it i just want to see if it works or not what we'll do is we'll close that we'll go into reports right and we can see the real-time reports right here this is going to show us the real-time reports of where the site is being used we'll go into real-time reports and over here we can see where the site has been viewed how many times the page has been viewed we can see the page views scrolls user engagement visit first first visit session starts and all of that so as you can see right here sample page this is the page of the website and this is the most viewed page which is by 50 percent too so as you can see it's working now let me show you how you can add it to your wix website so of course i just want to say that if you are going to be installing it onto your wix website you're going to have to have a premium plan now fortunately i don't have a premium plan i canceled that a few weeks ago but the process is very simple and you should understand it so first things first we go into settings right or we go back to the website's uh, dashboard we click on my dashboard and over here we want to go into marketing and seo on the left hand side and we want to go to uh, marketing integrations we want to go into here and over here we just have to connect our google analytics account of course as i said you're going to have to have a premium plan for it to work but over here you add the google analytics id which so now let me just show you how you can add the google id the google analytics id it's very simple So you come back here onto your analytics.google.com and you can see the measurement ID. This is going to be your Google ID. You just simply copy it and you just simply add the Google ID right here, which you can do once you have the premium plan. And this is the exact same process for many other websites such as Squarespace as well. 
So this is how you set up your Google Analytics account. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications. And we'll catch you guys in the next video. And until then, take care and goodbye.